implement the following expressions. The very first expression is simply A0. A0 is nothing else, just the inverter. Okay, so this is A, and output of the inverter is going to give me A0. So this is, this is the implementation of my function. But also you're supposed to remember that we have NAND gate. Okay, this is very useful, especially when you design the circuit and you want to make your circuit as small as is possible. And let's say you have extra NAND gate and you do not have space for extra chip which contains inverter. It's very useful to, to use NAND gate. Remember, anytime you are going to connect two inputs of the NAND gate, you are going to create inverter. So if I have A over here on the output, I'm going to have a not. Now, also you're supposed to keep in mind that we have NOR gate. And if you are going to connect two inputs together, and you have A over here, output is going to be A not. Someone is going to say why. So let me remind you that when we have NAND gate, and I have two inputs. Both of them are going to be connected to A. A, NAND A. So I have A, NAND A. Remember that A times A is nothing else than A, not in this case. That's why this is inverter. If it comes to the NOR gate, this is a very similar situation. I have NOR gate. And if you are going to apply A to both inputs, you will get at the output A or A with the bar, which is NOR gate. A or A gives me A. And I have to keep the, the bar over it. That's why this is equal A0. That's why I have three examples of inverters. Now, we have A and B. This is simply AND gate. A, B. D or F. This is OR gate. Okay, so if you want to find the output function of it, this is D or F, and output function of this gate is A and B.